Just do this. I have no space where I'm sitting. <laughs> okay, I'm done. This video is going to be what's in my backpack. I thought I would do an updated one. I did one in like my sophomore year. It's been two years. I'm a senior now and things have changed a lot. Uh, senioritis hit me so hard. Senioritis, if you don't know, is like um, a condition that you're bound to get when you go into your senior year. It's where you don't feel like doing anything. Um, grades don't matter that much to you and you're just slacking off and that's been me so a lot of people tell me that they found my channel through this video that I made two years ago and also a lot of people tell me that this video that I made two years ago is still like one of their favorite videos for me that's very surprising to me because it's just like such a basic video but I decided to fill another one since you guys like that one so much. Um, my backpack is still the North Face Jester backpack. A lot of people still ask me, so I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. I don't really recommend it though. I wanted a North, North Face backpack so badly that I just got the cheapest one back then. And I guess, well, I don't know if it's because it's the cheapest one, but it's like not the biggest bag and also it's it's not that comfortable when you have a lot of things in it i've taken this everywhere when i travel with like my laptop and my cameras and stuff where the bag is super heavy and it kills my shoulders and back every time i carry it so honestly i don't really recommend it but if you really want it and if you really wanted to know it's a jester backpack to just talk about the bag i have these two pins one is from marymond um from korea and the other one is also from korea but my friend chemin got it for me for my birthday last year or christmas i don't know it says i'm feeling so energetic and i guess it's like one on ones merch or goods i brought this keychain with me one of you sent me the key this keychain for my birthday and I've been wanting to put it on my bag so I'm just gonna do that now also this bag has two water bottle mesh thingy on one side I keep my airpods and this foldable straw foldable metal straw I got this from yes style um, it's like this and this straw is actually really nice i like how it has a silicone ends and it comes in handy when i decided to go to starbucks after school or something like that my airpods this keyring is from a subscriber also and it's adorable so thank you so much for sending me that i love my airpods it's a must in school because a lot of the times when we have independent work i like listening to music and also on the other side, I like to keep my water bottle. I either use this or my camelback one. Um, I'll leave the links to both of them down below. I used to have a hydro flask, but honestly don't really like carrying hydro flask to school because it's so heavy and it's hard for me to like open and close the lid every time. So I like this. Where I can just sip on it. Let's dive into this smaller pocket I honestly have not cleaned my bag in like months I don't really know what's in it first I see this pack of gum this was a huge pack of gum I honestly didn't think that I would finish it this quickly but I chew this gum like basically every day I chew it when I feel like I can't stay awake in a class I would take this out and chew on one and that usually wakes me up so Yep, and then in here, that is literally it. I have trash. Moving on to the bigger compartment, I have my planner. This is from Old Channel. They sent this to me. They sent multiple 
planners to me when I was in Korea last summer and I honestly love them and a lot of you guys love them too and I'm very proud of that because I feel like this brand just deserves more recognition and yeah go check them out on Instagram this planner is so efficient small the size is perfect and they're really cute um, I have my pouch this pouch is also from Korea my friend got it for me as a gift it's from the brand jam jam I don't really know and here I have my Innisfree powder I have Lily by Red, Bloody Liar, Coating Tint, I have a Neosporin, um, I don't know, I have more lip products, this one's from Buxom, this one's from Mamongdu, and then I have, <gasps> I've been looking for this brush, I have this eyebrow screw brush, I don't know why that's in there, and I have five bucks, and some band-aids and band-aids actually come in pretty handy so that's what's in my pouch i have my pencil case and this pencil case my subscriber gifted me as well um it's from a i don't really know where it's from it's a korean brand called Tansun or something like that but it's this um half translucent pencil case and it has two compartments here i have an eraser um these barrettes i don't know i think i wore them to school one time and i just took them off and put it in here and then here i have pens sharpies lead and pencils honestly don't really want to get into like what I use because I just use whatever I have and whatever I find so it's not like I use certain pencils because I love it you know um, on the pencil case I personalized it with some Glossier and Brandy Melville sticker and yeah I think it's really cute Next, I have this plastic bag. I had chips in this bag and finished the chips and never threw away the bag, so that's just trash. I have my glasses case and my glasses. These are Ray-Bans, if you guys are wondering, and they are prescribed glasses. Um, I should be wearing these like 24-7, but I just wear them when I'm driving or when I can't see the board. I have this senior portrait like previews. I don't know if I was ever supposed to return these. I don't know why I still have them. I don't know where I'm supposed to... I don't know if I'm supposed to return this and I I don't think I'm supposed to like legally show you guys so I can't show you guys what it looks like but I just carry this because I don't know what to do with it and then I have a folder this is from the brand 5 star and 5 star is like almost like a bougie brand out of the stationaries their stuff is always like a dollar or two more expensive than other brands uh, I personally think that they are worth it though because their quality is nice and I've been using this folder for two years and it's still holding up really well. In here I carry these loose leaf paper, they're just single sheets. They're like the paper you would see in a notebook but individual. I don't- I'm pretty sure they don't sell these in Korea or it's not common so a lot of people ask me about it but they're called loose leaf paper and if you're in the US or in America you can find them anywhere from like Target, grocery stores, Staples, Office Depot, any stationary places 
A lot of teachers require to use binders to help you stay organized. So since these have these holes, it's really easy to put them in a binder and keep up with them. I personally don't really like binders. If I don't have to use them, I'll just use a folder like this. But I do have binders here. This one I use for English. Um, as you can see, my English teacher required us to have three dividers. So I have three dividers labeled bell ringers which is like what we start off the class with and then I have a section called vocab and then other section called classwork usually teachers lecture with powerpoints or they would give you like a worksheet so I keep all the packets and worksheets in this binder into the divider they belong in and then I keep like a stack of empty unused paper in the front so I can easily reach for them so yeah when I get a worksheet like this I would hole punch it so I can put it into my binder and not lose them um, I have another binder I like to use white binders always just because they look clean and to tell which one's which I like to like mark them with a post-it note or like they have different paper in the front so I can easily tell which one's which I just have paper paper notes you can basically say that instead of using notebooks, we use binders because we get a lot of worksheets so if you have a notebook for our class, you can't just like shove in worksheets in between that's just gonna get really messy so when you have a binder, it's like having a notebook but you can insert things that your teachers give you lastly, I have my school iPad I'm not sure if I had an iPad when I filmed the other one but my school we rent out iPads for $50 a year I think and we use them frequently in class to look at like PowerPoints or to make PowerPoints um, to write essays or to make graphic stuff do projects look look things up research Ugh. That was everything in my backpack. Was that interesting? As I'm filming this, I'm like... I don't know, I feel so empty. I feel like... It's not that interesting, but... I hope it was interesting for you guys to watch. I don't carry much in my bag. A lot of trash for sure. Anyways, that's everything in my bag. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.